Hi, I'm Chris Pierce Ramwell. I'm a professional photographer and I'm based down in Yeovil in Somerset. Now, what I'm going to show you today is my photographic travel kit. Now, this is the minimum amount of kit I will take when I'm travelling and it covers the majority of eventualities I might need. So, it's all packed away in this tiny little low pro bag here, which is about the size of my wash kit. Um, the bag when I get to my destination, stays in the room and, and all the stuff inside really lives in my pockets. Uh, well, let's open up and see what's here. Uh, so to start with, just a, a moleskin or equivalent notebook, uh, just to take notes throughout the day. I've got seven or eight uh, 32 gig memory cards living in this sand disc holder here. And uh, a lens cleaning cloth. Uh, nothing special there, just straight microfiber. Uh, to write my notes in the moleskin, we have a Fisher Space Pen and a Faber-Castell propelling pencil and some filters as well. I carry various types of filters in here. There are three light stopping filters, a one, two and three stop, all 58 millimeters that fit on the uh, on the lens of this camera here. Uh, there's also a circular polarizing filter to deepen the skies and to take away or add reflections where necessary. Uh, the camera I use is a Fuji X100S. And I use this with a wrist strap, so when I'm going around it tends to be permanently attached to my wrist. So I don't drop the thing, uh, I have a thumb grip on here, and just to ease my picture taking, a soft focus button as well. Uh, this camera has a, a non-Fuji lens hood attached, and the lens cap that's on here actually lives in the room with the camera bag during the day. And to protect the lens there is a 58mm UV filter on the front. Now this is a brilliant camera and the 23mm or 35mm full frame um, lens on here gives me all the type of shots I'm likely to want to take. Uh, some people see in telephoto which means they, they zoom in on things and some people see in wide angle. And This is on the wide angle side and is, is pretty much my field of view. So it's perfect for any types of photography. If I need to get closer, I need to walk closer to the subject. So there we are. The downside of the X100 um, is actually the battery life. So I end up carrying six spare batteries around with me. Um, the elastic band on here indicates to me that the battery is fully charged and ready to go. Normally by the end of the day I have a bag full of batteries and a bag full of uh, elastic bands as well. Um, the thing about the X100 as you might know is when the battery is about to go it just goes. It gives you very little warning and um, it's gone. Uh, which is really quite a shame but it can be overcome by some relatively cheap non-Fuji FH95 batteries. Now those batteries live underneath the padding in this bag. Also in here I have a very small metal cable release, um, the very old school one which sort of matches the camera. My final filter which is a three stop neutral density grad filter which I will manually hold up in front of the lens, uh, a bit like this just to darken or lighten the sky uh, where appropriate. In here I have a the remnants of a Swiss card. Now, all the bits that Customs didn't take off me last time I travelled. So I have the the scissors, uh, which the blade is less than two and a half centimetres, which means I can still travel with that in my hand luggage. Um, a screwdriver, a pen, tweezers and a toothpick. All things that kind of come in useful through my day to day as I'm travelling around with the camera. The final thing here are the five remaining batteries. And that is my full camera kit. Um, for when I'm traveling. The only thing you can't see today is my Velbon UT43D tripod uh, which packs down into my hand luggage uh, which is the perfect uh, little tripod uh, with a strength to rigidity to weight ratio that, that I've ever found. And I, I recommend you look at that as well. So that's my kit. Gives me everything I need. Uh, hopefully I'll speak to you again soon and thanks for watching.